Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to use the web-based toolbox on a 2016 Model X. First thing you're going to want to do is ensure the vehicle is in service mode. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take it off of service mode um, so I can show you how to get into service mode. So right now it's off of service mode. We're going to go to the controls. We're going to go to software. We are going to see where it says Model X. We're going to hold down right there just for a second and you will enter an access code. This is going to be based off of your geolocation and whatever your shop has set up. So I'm going to put in um, our service code and hit OK. And now we are in service mode. Now we are going to find the diagnostic port. So given that this is a 2016, that's kind of like the awkward middle year where they did change their location. So anything, I believe, March 2016 and before, it's going to be behind this panel right here. So you'll just take a trim tool and pop this out. Or we are going to pop out this panel right here. There's two clips, one here and one here. You're going to stick your hand down and pop it out comes out very easy. If it doesn't, keep trying. You're gonna reach your hand in there, you're gonna find these two plugs. You're going to use this white plug. The cable you're going to use, you're gonna take this end and plug it in. Make sure you hear it click. And then you're going to take your ethernet side and you're going to plug it into the ethernet port on your laptop. The next thing is you're going to make sure you are connected to your shop's Wi-Fi that you're going to be using. So I am on my employee Wi-Fi and we are connected. And then we're going to pull out our laptop. Um, make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi as whatever you have in the car. And we're going to click this white circle right here and we're going to connect. If it doesn't connect, um, sometimes you will need to contact Tesla service and have them rotate that token so then you can get access into the vehicle. One step I did forget to mention is that our gateway is locked. So what you're going to do is make sure you have your key in the vehicle. We're going to push down on the brake pedal and we're going to hold up on the left stock at the same time. Let me see if I can get a good angle of this. So ready, three, two, one. And we're going to hold it for about 10 seconds until it finishes unlocking. There we go. So now we're unlocked. We can take that off and it will give us access to the gateway. Okay, so once you are connected, it's going to show green and unlocked. And then we are going to go to, oh, hi. Um, we're going to go to dashboards. And then we're going to go to service tools. And then we're going to make sure we're under DTCs. Then we're going to check all of them and we're going to read them. And we're going to give it a minute to read. Once this loads, you're going to have all your DTCs. Um, if it says error, that means it just had problems uh, reading the codes, but you're fine. The same thing with zero active DTCs. And then for each one, you can click the little arrow on the side into this drop down menu. And then you, you can um, copy and paste these codes into the search bar and search it up under articles. And you may be able to find more information on that DTC. And at this point, I will find the snipping tool. And I will use this to basically screen cap my scan. Uh, make sure you get the VIN number and everything. And I will go down and I will screen cap the entire scan and I will upload that into my RO.